Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can create purchasing group in SAP ECC6 or S400. So the transaction code I'm going is OLME, you can go through SPRO. And here I'll go to purchasing area. So I'll go to supplier, supply master. And here, not supply master, so, so supplier hierarchy, no, I'll go to creating purchasing group i can go from here i'll just do a search rather than doing all this purchasing group. and here i can see define purchasing group create purchasing group okay here i'll just select this and i'll click enter and here i'll execute so now I'll just create one purchasing group. So suppose this is the one, I'll just copy it and I'll say, you know, uh, I'll put test, test buyer. And this is now what's the use of purchasing group? It's a purchasing group is a, is a person or a group of person or a group that handles all these uh, buying thing, okay? So generally, if you if you are in a company and suppose you have a plant in India and in India, suppose you have a plant in Calcutta and Mumbai. So probably Calcutta person will have a different purchasing group than Mumbai or something like that. OK, so here I'll just put and based on that, you know, all these things get printed in the in the in, in the in the PO form that is sent to the vendor because the vendor needs to say see something. And then they acknowledge suppose you want uh, 10 laptops then they they need to be informed through an edi or through email or something so in that the correspondence they can contact this person and all those things okay so here you have this you can give your email address also okay so here i'll just change it to suppose i put one three and then i'll show you how it so I'll just save it so you can see test buyer is saved now we are going to go to a transaction me23n just to mention see that it got created so if you see go to me23n and here we go to I uh, suppose I think we have to go to or org data and here you can see purchasing group is one here uh, but now our purchasing group will show Test buyer. So this is very important because when we print this purchase order or send it through EDI, so if I click on go to messages, we don't have anything. But if we if we send it through EDI, all those information gets printed, the person's name, the email address, and all those things, so that they can send query back to you. Okay. So this is very important. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel. A happy SAP learning. And if you like it sure to subscribe it because every day i create lots of videos for you all just to help myself and help you all thank you and have a good day